Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Tax to Summer story! Let's jump right in, alright? Here we go. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh no! I'd better not miss the tram! I spent forever trying to convince my mother to let me travel alone. Like a stranded, she'll never let me out of her sight again and she will chain me to my bedroom. Well, that's just not conducive to a social life. I shouldn't have overslept. Darn chains. Whew. Whew! I can't believe I made it. Huh. Looks like I can handle myself after all. Hmm. New message. Ugh. Seriously, Mom? I'll be meeting Uncle at the shrine, so it's not like I'm going to be alone anyway. Oh well. I guess that's just how Mom is. This train is actually pretty nice. I've never been on one of these before. I'm only used to taking the ones to school, but these big ones that go across Japan are much nicer. And emptier. Dun, dun, dun. I guess it's not really the season for visiting shrines right now. <laughs> I'm sure that makes Uncle's job as caretaker a lot easier. At least I get the whole train car to myself for three hours. Yawn. Hmm, my neck feels funny. These chairs are very comfortable after so much sitting. Another message? I'm sorry. Hey. Oh, Mom, please, just let me go. Oops, this is my stop. Mm -hmm. It feels good to stretch after sitting in the train for so long. Fresh air feels nice, too. It smells like the ocean. That should make her happy. I'm pretty sure the ferry ride isn't going to take too long. I should text Uncle and let him know I'm going to be at the shrine soon. I hope he gets it. Last I remember, he wasn't very good with technology. Oh, that was quick. I guess I didn't have to worry after all. What? What's going on? Oh no! I got the wrong number! This is so embarrassing. I should probably apologize. I hope he doesn't think I'm a total idiot. Only partially. <sighs> How does he know about Uncle? Ah, that sounds like my uncle. He hardly used his phone, anyway. He probably forgot we even had his number. He didn't? Hmm, I guess Mom tried calling a different phone then. Maybe a landline? Oh, I'm at the island already. That was faster than I expected. The shrine shouldn't be too hard to find. It's the only thing on this island, after all. Not like that building in the background. Yep, not hard to find. Krishmak. I can't believe Uncle lives here alone. It just seems like an awfully big place for just one person. Ugh, I know that. I'm just telling you what I see. Uncle really does look a lot older than before. Hopefully that will pacify her. Yawn. Why am I so worn out anyway? All I did was sit around most of the day. Hmm, I don't see a place to charge my phone. Hmm, what shall we do? What shall we do? Decisions! Leave it on. Oh well, this was supposed to be a break. When it dies, it dies. Hmm. Ah, that was a good sleep. I feel a lot better now. Hmm, someone texted me last night. I hope that's not the text I was expecting. Oh no, Takeshi, I totally forgot about him. Let's tell him everything's fine. After all, the windows didn't eat me. It's all good. <laughs> Hmm, no response. I guess I should get going. If he wants to write back, he will. I hope Takeshi doesn't think I'm rude. I wonder why I never, Uncle never mentioned him before, though. Oh, new mail, eh? I really hope it's him. 
Woo! I'm glad he's not mad at me. A's Cafe sounds interesting. Man, it must be difficult for Uncle to always have to cross over on the ferry anytime he wants to buy something from town. I wonder why he chooses to live out at the shrine anyway. He's only the caretaker, so he could live here in town if he wanted to. I'm glad I can help him out a little bit at least. I guess she mentioned a place called A's Cafe. It's getting kind of late though. Maybe I should look for it some other day. No. There is no day but today. If you can name that, you get awesome points. In the reference. Small enough town, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Why can't I find the place? It's not even that late, but it got dark so quickly. This place feels kind of creepy when it's dark out. I hope he's still awake. Now that I think about it, I don't even know if he lives in the area. He only said he was here last year. I hope Uncle isn't too worried about me. I should be back at the island by now. This is so weird. Why is this place so empty at night? Ugh, I think I'm starting to freak myself out. Calm down. Nothing is going to happen, and nothing qualifies as something. Takeshi, please answer. Please! Why isn't he writing back? Maybe he's getting milk and cookies. Oh, thank goodness. Could not be delivered of all the times. I hear something. What's that sound? It's kind of metallic. He's still not answering. What's wrong with this thing? I don't know what that metallic sound is, but I definitely hear footsteps now. Someone's following me! I've got to get out of here! And we get a good old scolding from my mother, dearest. Best we can, huh? Doesn't feel as if there's anything I can do at all. I'm sure Mom's worried enough already, though. Huh, like you have to tell me that. Had enough paranoia for one trip. Thank you. Come again. In fact, I don't think I really want to go out today at all. I'm sure Uncle wouldn't mind if I just hung around all day. Another text. Um, it's not that big of a deal. I guess she got my text after all. Figures. Of course, anything that makes me look like a total boob would go through at an inopportune time. I feel like such a moron admitting this. Knife sounds like the calm, very calming cooing of death. Could have been there. Does that mean he lives in town?
All right, time to have a look around. Where should I go? I should go to the moon. Why is that not listed here? Anyways, let's go to Google the island. The weather is nice. I'll explore the island while I can. This place is really beautiful. I guess I can understand why Uncle prefers to live here. Well, if I follow the stairs, I can see the view up top, or I can head down to the pond. Uncle said not to go there, but as long as I'm careful, it should be fine. Peachy Kine. Why don't we take the stairs? I'm curious to see the view. Wow, these stairs go up farther than I expected. I can't believe I'm tired already. I guess I don't really get to work out too often back home. Harumph. Woo! I made it! I feel like my lungs are about to burst, but... The view is incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. Look at all the trees! And the water! <laughs> I feel like such a kid. But all I ever see at home are big builders and concrete. Sometimes concrete will grow street lamps. Just gotta got carry them just right. Oh, I should take a picture. Ready, steady. Looks good. I'm sure Mom will want to see this. I'll send it to her. No signal? I guess this island is pretty out of the way. Oh well, it can wait. I'll get a few more pictures while I wait. Hmm. I'm sure she'll want to see my room. And I should get one of Uncle since it's been a while. I wonder where he is right now. Oh, there he is! He's headed for the ferry. Is he going to town today? He's too far away from me. Even if I called him, he wouldn't hear me. I guess I'll ask for a picture later. Oh, this is the perfect time to go see the pond. I know he said not to go. But it should be fine as long as I'm careful. Hmm, it's smaller than I imagined. It's cute though. It's a shame Uncle won't let visitors come here. I should get a picture of this too. Ready? Focus. What was that? I don't think I want to take any more pictures. I'm gonna have. I'll look again if I want to delete it from my phone, right? Oh boy. Deep breath. It's just a picture. Huh. It looks fine. Then, what did I just see? Maybe it was the reflection of the sunlight? Well, I hope. I think I'm going to go back to my room now. I think that's enough exploration for one day. Maybe I should just go to sleep. Mm, what shall we do? What shall we do? Let's turn their phone off. Better turn my phone off. I don't think I want to look at it for a while. Mm, morning. I feel a lot better after a good night's sleep. I'm sure whatever happened yesterday was just a figment of my imagination. Just like socks, erasers, and the color purple. Still. I don't think I want to go back to the pond for a good long time. Or ever, really. If Uncle says I shouldn't go there, it must be for good reason. As for the rest of this week, I'm sure there are plenty of other things that can occupy my time. I feel kind of bad for just ignoring Takeshi at the last minute. Uncle's little camping trip took me by surprise. It really was a lot of fun, though. I hope Takeshi didn't get too worried. Oh, that must be him. Couldn't be delivered. That's weird. Oh well, I guess that sort of stuff just happens. Ending 5. Camping. Ta-da! And here we have another lovely episode. <sighs> so... Tune in next time, and we'll see what else there is to see. Happy gaming, joyous reading, and see you then.